Industrial fans often get installed in applications that need to be explosion proof. So I'm standing at a fan that actually is rated for explosion proof AMCA C spark resistance rating on the gas string. But when you label your fan explosion proof, you have to define where it needs to be explosion proof. So either the gas stream needs to be explosion proof because you're drawing from an area that's very combustible or you're pushing to an area that's very combustible and if a spark reached it, it could cause an explosion or the fan is installed in a room that is combustible and therefore the components on the outside of the fan need to be explosion proof. Or it could be a combination of the two and you need an explosion proof rating on the outside and on the gas stream. The explosion proof rating for the internals of the fan, really what we're getting at is that you never want to be able to have a ferrous on ferrous strike. That's how a spark is created. And so a fan like this, if you have your components around the wheel, in this case, the wheel is carbon steel, and so that's a ferrous material. You need all of the materials around the wheel that it could potentially strike to be non-ferrous. So this example, we have an aluminum cone, we have an aluminum rub ring on the back, and then our shaft seal plate is also aluminum. So anything that could strike a ferrous material, the shaft and the wheel, is non-ferrous. In this case, it's, it's aluminum. And so this is an AMCA C design. Now AMCA B would be where the wheel would be the non-ferrous material and then all the materials around the wheel are ferrous. So you'd have a carbon steel housing, you'd have a carbon steel cone, but your rotating wheel itself would be aluminum or some other non-ferrous material. Now AMCA A is where you just go all out, housing, wheel, everything non-ferrous on the Airstream. External to the fan, if you need to rate it explosion proof, typically you look at the motor rating and then any other electrical components you have on the outside and make sure that they have a NEMA enclosure rating that is explosion proof. On the motor itself, what you're looking at is classes and divisions. So if you're in an area that are, that is combustible, it's going to be a division one environment. And so your division one environment, your motor must be explosion proof rated. And so you rate it class one or class two div one and then if you're in class one, you're looking at groups A through D, which are dealing with different combustible gases, or you're looking at class two, div one, which is dealing with combustible dusts. And so you just have to know which combustible gases or combustible dusts you need your motor protected against and rate it accordingly. If you need an explosion proof fan, you need to identify, is it external? internal or both and then decide which level of protection you want do you want amca c b or a and then on the motor which classification which grouping are you dealing with rate your fan for that have your fan manufacturer build it in accordance with your rating and you will have an explosion proof fan